What's good guys? Go to EasyNPC.com for the cheapest and safest way to get caps, weapons, items in Fallout 76. And links in the description down below. Use coupon code CHIEF for 5% off. So, for this video, it's going to be on how to get the Whistle in the Dark, which is the brand new Survival Weekly Challenge weapon. So, this is going to cover what it is, how to get it, an easy way to get it, and whether it's actually worth it or not. So, right now, what the Whistle in the Dark is, is that it's a nocturnal assault rifle with increased bats hit chance and plus one perception. So it is meant to be a sniper rifle that you use at nighttime in the game. So if you're running a nocturnal build or you side a nocturnal set of gear, which is actually a very smart thing to do depending on your build, it is going to be beneficial for a sniper version of that. So that is the only real practicality, but you would still most likely rather have like a nocturnal explosive weapon uh, instead. So it is a little bit iffy whether you want to go for it or not. I am not a big fan of it because I don't have a full nocturnal set, but if you're rocking a full nocturnal set of armor and you have that on the side that you swap to whenever it's nighttime, this might be a weapon for you. So, how to get it. You're going to want to do all five challenges, and they're actually super easy. So, the challenges are actually supposed to be done at night. So you have to go to the data section on your Pip-Boy and check the time to see whether it's nighttime in game and that will tell you whether you can do three out of the five challenges. But we're going to start off at West Tech because this is one of the ones that doesn't require you to be at nighttime. So you're going to have to sneak kill a turret which is actually right at the entrance of West Tech. Super easy. You don't even need to be hidden. You just need to kill all the super minions around here and then you just go into crouch, kill the turret, and boom, first challenge done, super easy. Second challenge that doesn't need to be done at night is killing a creature with a stealth boy active. I happen to do this inside a building, which is actually one of the big parts of these challenges, because when you're inside a building, it doesn't count towards being nighttime. So you could take pictures of scorched enemies which are human-like creatures at nighttime, but if you're inside a building, it does not count. So that is the big thing that you have to be wary about. So for this, you want to do those first two easily because they can be done at any time. So if you spawn in a survival world at daytime, you can at least do these first two challenges, and they're super easy and can be done at West Tech. The next three are about hacking a terminal, picking a lock, and taking a picture of a human-like creature all at nighttime. So I recommend going to the forest section of the map because you do not need hacker perks or lockpick perks in order to actually have an easy time with this. For the lockpick one, I go to Vault Tech Agricultural Center. It's an easy one. There's a lot of them. You just go to one of the fertilizer vents and you just pick lock it. Super easy. Requires zero skill. And then the next one, you're going to want to fast travel right over here because you can go to the water plant, which will actually give you another location to hack a terminal that requires zero pick block. This is one of the easier ones that I have found that is not too far away. And also there's a fast travel spot near it. So this is the one that I like to go to. And you just go over there, and you're going to go jump over this with marsupial, or if you have a jetpack. Or you could just take the long way, but I like this way. And you're going to go through here, and you're going to hack it. Super easy. Make sure it's at nighttime. And that is two out of the three nighttime challenges done. Last one, you're going to need to take a picture of a human-like enemy outside at nighttime. So... I actually did this at one of the power plants because it is guaranteed scorched enemies usually at power plants, and especially at the first one in the forest section. And you just fast travel over there, take a picture at night, make sure it registers in the top right corner of your camera that it says that you're taking a picture of a scorched enemy. Once you see that, make sure you're outside. Boom! Easy! All five challenges done, and there you have it! You have the whistle in the dark. Now, this weapon honestly is not my cup of tea because I do not have a full nocturnal set but 
it does make me think about how good nocturnal gear can be because I noticed when equipping it at nighttime, it actually increased the damage by about 50%, which is insane. This is actually a really powerful piece of gear. That means this could be useful to side for certain things. So like if you're doing the imposter sheep squatch at night, it might be nice to put on a full set of nocturnal gear that you have in your uh, backpack and then boom you can go through it a lot easier you're gonna be doing more damage you're gonna have more damage resistances it's gonna be good for tanky builds if you're running a glass cannon bloody build you'll always be doing more damage with your bloodied weapons than you would be with a nocturnal set so that is it for the video guys hope all of you guys enjoy the video make sure to like comment subscribe if you enjoyed it and have a good day